What do all these things have in common? If you guess they all have quick release plates, you're correct. However, is it really quick release if it requires me to remove the quick release plate to attach a different quick release plate to then slide onto the corresponding mount? Not really. It's a realization I came to when I was looking across the room at my Zeon crane and I noticed that it barely gets any use. And I was wondering, well, why is that? And it occurred to me it's because it takes time to kind of set up. And so I thought, well, if I can reduce that time, maybe I'll actually use it as part of my content creation process. And then I thought, well, what if I could connect all my devices easy, move my camera from one tripod to the next in a more seamless fashion? That would certainly speed things up. And so, yeah, in this video, that's what I plan to do. All right, so this video is more of a quality of life video if you're a content creator and uh, and, and that's, you know, we're not doing rocket science here. I don't think I've invented anything new, but again, I can't believe that after all these years, I haven't, it hasn't occurred to me to kind of unify my quick release plates on all my devices, because certainly that speeds up the process and, and, it, and it makes the word quick release mean something. Uh, so if you've already solved that problem, there's nothing to see here. Uh, if this hasn't occurred to you, uh, then stick around and I'll show you the solution that I am going to use because I actually haven't used it yet, but I did receive it in the mail. So we're going to put it on and see if it works. Doing research into this, I noticed that Manfrotto seemed to be one of the leaders in this space, right? As far as if you want a good quality quick release system, uh, the Manfrotto 323 RC2 seems like the way to go. However, there were some issues with it when I was kind of doing my research. Number one, it's kind of pricey, $37, $38. Uh, but aside from that, interestingly enough, it doesn't really sit flat on the tripod is what I, I saw. Like, cause I, I'll probably mount this on top of my existing plates. And in some of, some of my plates, like a Manfrotto plate that I have here, uh, you know, I'll have to mount it on top of that quick release just so that things kind of line up and it doesn't look like it's going to lie flat. That seems to be the, the constant uh, complaint. So I looked around and after a considerable amount of research, I found this uh, Obin QRA R2 quick release assembly. And um, it appealed to me because, well, it's $25, so it's a bit cheaper and I need a, a, several of them. And it doesn't seem to have an issue with lying flat on another mount. And so that's kind of important to me because I don't want to have to try to correct that in post or something like that. I mean, it's hard enough getting level shots. I don't need my plates kind of lifted on one side. Anyway, I'm kind of excited about this, so let's get to it. I was able to accomplish everything that I had set out to do. I was able to use this uh, Obin QAR2, uh, you know, quick release setup, mount the base unit to the various tripods that I use successfully, and uh, put this quick release base plate onto my camera. And now I can quickly move my camera from one tripod mount to the other which is fantastic. That's what I wanted to do. Mission accomplished. Uh, I even got it to work on my Zeon crane. I'm using in, I'm using a Sony a6300. So keep that in mind because, uh, you know, I was able to make it work, but that quick release lever, if you put it on the right side, it, depending on how you balance your camera, it might not be able to then release, or you might not, you know, and you could try reversing the plates, but then, you know, you could all, you run into other problems actually. You know, balance issues and things like that. Uh, 
The neat thing about it is that it does lie flat. Very happy with the fact that it lies flat. I don't have to deal with any nonsense of it being slightly askew. Um, so that's great too. At the end of the day though, build quality, eh, okay, acceptable. It's not peak design quality. It's not Manfrotto quality. Uh, in fact, these pieces, they see, they're they are like a hard plastic. Um, this almost feels like a metal, the base here, but I put a magnet to it. So it's either, you know, plated or co coated with plastic or something. Uh, and it has some non-magnetic metal. I'm not sure, maybe. but Or it could just be plastic. Not sure. This definitely seems plastic. Um, I don't really have a fear that things are going to break or anything like that. Um, overall, you know, quality is... Okay, and uh, again, lies flat. That's the big thing. Quick release lever works fine. Um, no complaints there. I'm pleased with it. I'm happy with it. And like I said, I kind of have this like unified mounting system now for all my devices. The other neat thing is I have now two extra quick release plates that I can mount on other cameras. So then I can, you know, they'll kind of be part of the ecosystem and I can move them from tripod to tripod. I have this single base plate on everything and just move everything around. Lastly, the peak design piece didn't work out. I uh, was hoping, uh, you know, I, I kind of took a chance on this. So let my, let my experience serve as a warning to others. Uh, nothing wrong with it. It's, you know, works as designed. It's a beautiful little piece of, a, of kit, I guess. But, you know, I, was, I wasn't sure if the tripod mount I bought was similar, you know, or compatible with a Manfrotto RC2. And unfortunately it's not. I was hoping to use the Peak Design base plate to attach to my camera and then, you know, incorporate my Peak Design clip uh, into my production workflow without having to remove anything, but uh, no dice here. Anyway, that's all I got. As always, I've included a link to everything discussed in this video in the description below. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, be kind to one another.